Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing my to be doing my Royal Rumble predictions. Now obviously this will be coming up before Smackdown. Well, actually I'll be posting this after Smackdown so if there's any new matches added but I'm pretty sure they'll add two extra matches. One being the Intercontinental title involving Big E, Sami Zayn, and Apollo, and I'm very sure Sasha Banks and Carmella will be added. So, I'm pretty much expecting those matches to be added, so I'll probably talk about those as well. I'll most likely talk about those as well on here, because I'm very sure those will be added uh, to the Royal Rumble. It'd be crazy if they weren't, to be honest. Especially Carmella. Especially Carmella versus Sasha. But, um, anyway, let's talk about, uh, the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Well, not the pay-per-view, but let's talk about the match card, and we'll go ahead and do our predictions. Actually, speaking of those two matches, I'll actually talk about those now, because I probably might end up forgetting. Uh, I am predicting there will be an Intercontinental Championship match. It'll be a triple threat. I'm involved, I'm, I'm expecting it to be Big E versus Sami Zayn. Versus Apollo Crews uh, for the title. I'm expecting a triple threat. And I think Big E will walk away with the victory. That's my prediction. If that match does indeed happen, I am expecting Big E to retain. But if Big E doesn't retain and we get a new champion, maybe the new champion ends up being Sami Zayn again. Who knows? But, but I'm expecting Big E to retain if the match goes down. And Carmella versus Sasha Banks, if that match ends up becoming a reality at the Royal Rumble, you're going to get no argument from me. Sasha Banks should win the match. No ifs or buts about it. No second thoughts. No thinking of maybe we should put the title on Carmella. No teasing of putting the title on Carmella. Just keep the title on Sasha. There's no reason to take it off her. Sasha Banks wasn't at the Royal Rumble event last year. So it only makes sense for her to be there this year. So, she wasn't in the Royal Rumble last year, which was crazy, because a lot of us thought she was going to be in it. But she wasn't. But, um... So, so I fully expect Car Carmella and Sasha Banks to happen, and I expect uh, Sasha to win. Does Carmella appear in the Royal Rumble? I honestly don't want her to, because... The thing is, like, the thing I hate the most is that you have someone compete for, the for like, the world title, but then the challenger for that title will still participate in the Rumble. Like, I've never really liked that. In my opinion, if you've competed for the world title, and I mean world title, the women's tag team title match, that's fine, because, because we already know Charlotte, Nia, and Shayna are already in the Rumble. So, they're fine. Oscar, obviously, she's a world champion for the women on Raw, so there's no reason for her to be in the Rumble. But, um... But, yeah, I think that's why they had her defend her title against Alexa on Raw, because they knew they weren't going to have anything for her at the Royal Rumble. And, obviously, Alexa Bliss, you know, declared her name in the Royal Rumble. Right? Right? So, what's the point in having Oscar defend her title against Alexa, but Alexa will get another chance? Right? You know what I mean? That's why I'm okay with Oscar not defending the Royal Women's title at the Royal Rumble, because she already defended it against Alexa. Alexa is in the Rumble. So, there's really no reason. There's really no reason for it. Oscar's defending the tag team titles, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Now, that's probably the first match we'll, we'll talk about, but... Yeah, I think Sasha will retain here. I don't want Carmella to participate in the Rumble if, if as well. But knowing them, they'll probably just throw her in there because, oh, we need more names. We, we don't have enough names. Carmella, you go in there. Just to give her another chance, I guess. But I say no. I say those who compete for world titles should not be given second chances to be in the Royal Rumble. And yes, I know Becky Lynch did it in 2019. That's why I didn't like it back then either. So, and Roman Reigns did it in 2017. 
And that's become a bit of a trend since then, so WWE needs to stop that. Anyway, moving on, I predict Sasha to beat Carmella if that match does indeed get confirmed tomorrow on SmackDown. So those are the two matches I predict that will be added to the Royal Rumble card. So first match we're going to officially talk about that is on the card is Charlotte and Oscar, or Shaska, as I call them, or I call them the Royal Queens, as I also call them, defending their women's tag team championships against Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. Now, as much as I hate Nia and Shayna, I am predicting them to win the titles here. Now, you guys are probably wondering, why, oh why, would I be okay with Nia and Shayna winning the tag team titles? No, I don't want them to win the tag team titles. I don't. Uh, the reason why I am predicting them to win is because I really feel like Lacey Evans is really going to do something here. I really feel like... I just see it. I just I just see it coming a mile away that Lacey Evans and, and Ric Flair are going to mess with Charlotte. They are going to mess with Charlotte. They're going to make her lose the titles to Nia and Shayna. That is why I am predicting... Nia and Shayna to win. I hope I'm wrong. I don't want Nia, I don't want Shayna Baszler anywhere near a championship. Same as Nia. I don't want those two anywhere near a championship. But at the same time, I just expect them to win because you know it's WWE. You know, like you're gonna have to take the titles off Charlotte and Oscar if you're gonna build to a program between the two of them, which is what a lot of people are predicting. But I don't think they're going to be building a program between... Like, especially with this whole Alexa Bliss stuff involving with Oscar, I can't really see... I don't really know how Charlotte would really involve herself with Oscar since they're both baby faces. I don't know. But, all of, but you know, only time will tell. And I don't see Charlotte feuding with Lacey Evans all the way to WrestleMania. There is no way they're going to have Charlotte, you know, work with Lacey Evans at WrestleMania. No freaking way. They're going to give her something more important to do than Lacey Evans. So, I think Lacey screws with Charlotte and Oscar here. I think this leads to Nia and Shayna winning back the Women's Tag Team Championship. As much as it pains me to say it, I think Nia and Shayna will win the Tag Team titles. Then we had... And we'll talk about the Men's Royal Rumble match. We'll talk about one of the Royal Rumbles. We've got the Men's Royal Rumble... The winner of this match will receive a will, 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 will face for a world champion world, for a world championship match at WrestleMania. They've been making it very clear that the winner can check face any champion of their choice. So this is kind of worrying me, especially if Alexa Bliss wins the Royal Rumble, which I'll get to that when we get to it. So the so the participants in the men's Royal Rumble is Daniel Bryan, Bobby Trashley. AJ Styles, Randy Orton, Big Boy Otis, The Miz, Jay Uso, Cesaro, Jeff Hardy, Sami Zayn, Dolph Ziggler, Shinsuke Nakamura, or Shinsuke Nakamura, as how it should be pronounced, Big E, John Morrison, Sheamus, Mustafa Ali, and Edge. Now there are three people... There are three people on here that I would not mind winning the Royal Rumble match. And there will be a couple of names that I don't want to win the Royal Rumble match. So I'll get to those real... So I'll, tell, so I'll get out of that, that out of the way. There's been rumors going around that they've got some kind of scary Royal Rumble plan. Something scary as I mean something completely dumb and stupid. There's been, I saw a report saying that WWE is planning on something scary for the Men's Royal Rumble, which is fearing me, because the people that I want to win might not win. So the three people that I want to win the Royal Rumble match are Daniel Bryan, AJ Styles, and Shinsuke Nakamura. Some of you are probably surprised I didn't say Randy. I know Randy is not winning. The Fiend is most likely going to be in the Rumble... Just to eliminate Randy. I know the whole thing, okay? I know where this is all leading to. The Fiend is going to come back. He's going to eliminate Randy. He's going to eliminate himself 
and Randy Orton to prevent him from going to WrestleMania. That's what's going to happen. That's why I did not pick Randy. Because I know he's not winning. What's the point in me picking someone that I know isn't going to win? It's like picking Otis to win the Royal Rumble. And you know Otis isn't going to win. It's like picking freaking Jeff Hardy to win the Royal Rumble. But yet you know he's not winning. Why pick someone you know you, you know isn't going to win? So yeah, those are my three picks. Why do I pick AJ Styles? Because I think, I think he deserves it. I think he deserves a Royal Rumble win. It's been six years after his debut, and he's been on a roll. He has been on a roll. In the he has really been on fire since returning to Raw. He has, as far as I know, hasn't lost a match clean by pinfall. I don't think he's lost a match via pinfall since returning to Raw. Since being drafted back to Raw. So I don't think he's been pinned ever since he's returned to Raw. And he... So I feel like that's a good way to keep the momentum going and to possibly have him win the Royal Rumble match. That'd be pretty cool. Daniel Bryan, for obvious reasons, because because they, they had some story between him and Roman Reigns on Talking Smack. Daniel Bryan saying he's a better wrestler than Roman Reigns and all that other stuff. But Daniel Bryan was the original guy I was going to go with. But my third pick, Shinsuke Nakamura, is another guy I'm kind of leaning towards a little bit on, more because of the gauntlet and what went down there. And what went down in the gauntlet and what happened there. I feel... I feel... As if that is a good opportunity to have Nakamura win the Rumble. So then he can get his revenge on Roman Reigns. So you got to involve him somehow, right? you got to involve him in the title picture somehow. So... You don't turn Nakamura face for no reason. You don't turn him face for no reason and you, and you don't do anything with it. I also expect some surprise entrances. I'm expecting Jet Jimmy. I'm thinking Jimmy Uso will also appear in the Royal Rumble to eliminate Jay Uso. You know, I think Jimmy will go down the same path as Jay, being the babyface Uso, being against the Roman agenda and the family, and then he'll eventually turn. That's what I think they will do there. But anyway, what is this scary thing that WWE could plan on doing? I've got a few things that I think could be completely scary and stupid. Obviously, one could be the Goldberg-Drew McIntyre thing. Secondly, the second thing that I'm thinking is then that they're going to bring back Brock Lesnar and they're going to have Brock Lesnar win this Royal Rumble match. That is the other thing that I immediately thought of when I heard, w when I heard a report saying that Oh, WWE's got something scary in mind, and not and people are not going to like it. So my second thought was, they're going to bring Brock Lesnar back, and he's going to win the Rumble. So, yeah, Brock Lesnar, he's someone I do not even want to see in the Rumble, and nor do I want him to win the Royal Rumble. These freaking matches, I swear, what does... What do, what, why does WWE... Why does WWE not understand that these matches are supposed to help younger guys and younger girls? Yes, we've had so many Rumble winners, so many top stars. Cena, what one two? Orton's one two. Stone Cold's one three. Triple H is one two. Roman's one one. Randy's one two. You know, so many big stars have won these Royal Rumble matches, and that's WWE's habit. They never give these to young stars. These are supposed to be meant for younger stars. This is supposed to help create new stars. But no, to WWE, they think, no, these Royal Rumbles should really go to big, big stars. Sure, AJ Styles is already a main star, and I'm picking him as one of the guys that I want to see win. Keith Lee is another guy that could really benefit from winning the Royal Rumble. Alistair Black. You know, we haven't seen Alistair Black in a while. I'm, I'm, I heard, I've been hearing rumours that they've got plans for him. I've been hearing rumours that they've got a big push planned for Alistair Black. I don't know what that could be. I heard a rumour that Alistair Black 
could have a big push coming. So if they're planning on bringing him back, the Royal Rumble is the best time to bring Alistair Black back. Same thing for Andrade. The Royal Rumble is the perfect time to bring back Andrade. You got some of these superstars missing, like Andrade and Alistair Black, and the Royal Rumble is the best time to bring these people back. You got so many options that you could use and give the Rumble to, like Andrade, like Alistair Black, like Cesaro, like Nakamura, Daniel Bryan, AJ Styles. You got so many options, but yet you're going to say that someone like Brock Lesnar could deserve it more? I mean, give me a break. I mean, we've seen enough of Brock Lesnar already. Yeah, we haven't seen him all year since he lost the title to, to Drew McIntyre. But who cares about Brock? I sure as hell don't care about Brock. If you mean to tell me they're going to bring back Brock Lesnar just to do an angle with Roman over the whole Tribal Chief thing and Paul Heyman, then I don't want that. I would rather Nakamura... Or Daniel Bryan. Because you've got enough story there with those two. You want Brock back? You want Brock at WrestleMania? You don't need to give him a Royal Rumble. Seriously. You don't need to give him... It's like they gave him the... It's, a, it's like when they gave him the money in the bank. They gave him the money in the bank just so that they could have him at SummerSlam as the Universal Champion. You don't need to give... Brock Lesnar these accolades just to get him to a certain spot. Brock Lesnar is Brock Lesnar. You can easily have him at WrestleMania in a non-title capacity. Why does Brock Lesnar always need to be a champion? Why? Why does Brock Lesnar always need to be in a program that involves a championship? Ever since this man has come back, every single program he's been in is over a championship. Have Bobby Lashley drop the United States title. And at this point, I don't even freaking care if it's Riddle. Just have freaking Lashley drop the WWE title. Have, have Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar go at it at WrestleMania in a non-title capacity. That is so much better. Can Brock be in something... Can Brock involve in... Have involve himself in something that doesn't involve a championship? So when I heard stories about them doing a planned dumb finish, my first thought was probably Brock Lesnar. So please, please, please do not make it Brock Lesnar. Just give it to someone that deserves it. Just give it to someone that deserves it. And Brock Lesnar isn't someone that deserves it. The second person I don't want to see win the Royal Rumble is Edge. I don't care about his comeback story. Sorry, not sorry. I don't really care for it. Edge said he wants to win back the title that he never lost. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Edge, but the, but the title that you lost, or that you never lost, it's, a not, it's no longer active. It's no longer an active title on your on WWE programming. Unless they're going to turn the Universal or WWE title into the title he never lost. Because you know WWE, they'll spin the narrative somehow. They'll spin the narrative their way and make it sound like the WWE Championship was the title that he never lost. When we all know it was the World Heavyweight Championship. They'll spin the narrative. They'll find a way. I've been hearing people saying that Edge should win the Royal Rumble. No, no, no. I am sorry, no. Edge should not be winning the Men's Royal Rumble match. Edge is... Uh, same thing as Brock. Same thing as Brock. Does he need it? No, he doesn't. Edge doesn't need it to be a champion. He's a part-timer. He is not going to be on television every week. It's bad enough that we're going to be getting three years of Edge. But I do not want Edge to win the Royal Rumble. As I said about Brock Lesnar, it should go to someone that deserves it. And Edge, I'm sorry to break the Edge fans' hearts here, but Edge does not deserve the Royal Rumble. 
He doesn't deserve it. Like I said, Brian, Styles, and Nakamura are the three people that I believe deserve the Royal Rumble. I don't want to hear this crap about, oh, give Edge one more tar world title run. I don't want Edge to have one more world title run. I know you guys may want it, but that doesn't mean I want it. He can't win the title that he never lost. Even if he does win the Rumble and wins the WWE Championship, it's still not the title that he never lost. He never lost the World Heavyweight Championship. You're not going to turn the WWE Championship into the World Heavyweight Championship, or you're not going to turn the Universal Championship into the World Heavyweight Championship. You can't make that excuse. If you want Edge in the Rumble, fine. He could be in the Rumble, but that doesn't mean he should win it. Having repeat winners and giving it to people that don't deserve it is just a common theme in WWE. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Edge and Brock Lesnar are the two people I do not want to win the Royal Rumble. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If this breaks your heart, go cry, go, go, go cry somewhere else. So yeah, those are my picks to win the Royal Rumble. Brian, Styles, and Nakamura. Cesaro, he's definitely a wild card. So I think Cesaro should definitely have a good breakout performance in the Royal Rumble. Drew McIntyre versus Oldberg for the WWE Championship. Who asked for this? Who asked... For Drew McIntyre versus Goldberg. Name me one person that wanted wants to see this match. If your answer is Vince McMahon, then you're obviously correct. You had Sheamus. You easily had Sheamus. A guy who you were building to eventually have a match with Drew McIntyre. But now... And look, he's turned babyface. And now... The Seamus stuff of Drew McIntyre is whistled away. What happened to Keith Lee? Where's Keith Lee been? All, all of Drew's potential challenges have all just gone away. It's, it's weird. It's weird how Goldberg makes an appearance and all of a sudden things are just different now. Weird. Drew McIntyre needs to retain. He needs to. But if I know WWE, they'll put the belt on Goldberg. Knowing WWE, they'll put the belt on Goldberg. Knowing WWE, they'll have the Miz cash in, and Goldberg will pin Miz to win the WWE Championship. Knowing WWE, Goldberg is winning the WWE Championship. This is how you do Drew McIntyre dirty. After all the work, after everything you have done with Drew McIntyre, after every single thing you did to this man last year at the Royal Rumble, you gave him the Royal Rumble. You had him beat Brock Lesnar. You had him beat Brock Lesnar you had him go on a 200-day title run. I can't remember how long. It was around about 200. You had him go on a 200-plus day run, drop the title to Orton, only to have Orton pass it back to him about a week later. And then you have him lose it to Goldberg. Now, I know I've been hearing... Now, I know there's been rumors going around that, that WWE could be planning to bring fans for WrestleMania. Why so why can't so why can't the fans see Drew McIntyre as the WWE champion heading into WrestleMania? What good is it to have Drew McIntyre lose the title just to win it back at WrestleMania in front of a live audience? So you mean to tell me the fans seeing Drew as WWE champion is 
is is better than him it isn't be isn't good enough you think him lo winning the title in front of a live audience is better than the than the live audience seeing him as the WWE champion it's the same thing with Sasha Banks I mean people want it's the same thing with Sasha Banks in my opinion Sasha Banks retaining her SmackDown Women's Championship at her first WrestleMania is better than nothing as long as she wins that WrestleMania that's all that's important right as long as she wins at WrestleMania, that's important. I don't want Sasha Banks to lose the title, ju ju just to drop the title for no reason, and then just say, right, we'll have you win the title at WrestleMania. It doesn't work that way. It, it, it worked for Naomi because she got injured. It worked for Naomi because it was in her hometown, and she got injured. She didn't lose the title. So, so it worked for Naomi. Drew McIntyre needs to head in to WrestleMania as the WWE Champion. And you do Drew versus Sheamus versus Keith Lee. That's the match I do for WrestleMania. And that's where you have Keith Lee finally become WWE Champion. Goldberg, he can piss off for all I care. You can have a match with somebody else at, Re at WrestleMania. You can put him up against friggin' Bobby Lashley for all I care. Find something else for him to do that doesn't involve a championship. Then we've got Roman Reigns taking on Kevin Owens for the Universal Championship. This is a last man standing match. As much as I would love to see Kevin Owens win the Universal Championship, don't get me wrong, I would like that. I would like to see Kevin Owens get a babyface run as a, as, as a top champion. I'm liking Kevin Owens a lot more because here's the thing with Kevin. I wasn't really a big fan of him at first. But ever since his program, when he turned babyface against Shane McMahon, I've grown to respect the guy more. He's really shown that he's a great babyface. He was a great heel too. He was a great heel too. So he's showing that he can portray both characters well. Either if he's a good guy or if he's a bad guy. Now, and, and, and in my opinion, Kevin Owens should win. If you're going to go storyline perspective, you think storyline perspective wise, Kevin should win. Because he's been screwed over so many times. He got screwed at TLC by Jey Uso. He got screwed again by Jey Uso. So you'd think the third time is the charm. But Roman is such a great heel. And you can see how wonderful Roman works as a heel. I don't know why Vince ever thought making this man a babyface was a great idea. I don't know how Vince ever once thought making Roman Reigns a likable John Cena 2.0 was ever going to work. Roman was never a John Cena. He never was. He never was going to become like John Cena. Roman Reigns is so much better as a heel, and it just works better that way. It just works better for him to be a heel. Roman Reigns should never turn babyface ever again. But of course he will. They will turn him babyface. But Roman just works so well as a heel. You should just never really turn the guy. So as much as I would love to see Kevin Owens finally get his... Finally like to see Roman get his comeuppance. I think Roman wins. I think Roman Reigns will win this, uh, this match. And he will move on. This will be it for Kevin Owens, and he'll move on to bigger and better things. Naming Daniel Bryan and Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, this is the match that I'm predicting to be the main event. The Women's Royal Rumble match. I would love this to be the main event. So the Women's Royal Rumble we have as followed... We have, we only have 12 names in the match so far. And that, that is being Nia Jax, Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, Bailey, Mandy Rose, Dana Brooke, Peyton Royce, Alexa Bliss, 
Shayna Baszler, Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, and Tamina. I'm expecting Billy Kay to be added. I'm expecting Naomi to make a return. And I'm guessing Lana could return the Rumble as well. I'm also hoping for my girl from the past, Kelly Kelly, to make a surprise appearance. I'd love to see her make a surprise appearance. And if there's one person I love even more so than Kelly Kelly to make a one-off appearance at the Royal Rumble, and I know it will never happen, and I know it won't happen, that's AJ Lee. I'd love nothing more to see AJ Lee appear in this Royal Rumble. Not gonna happen, obviously. Be not gonna happen, but, you know, a man can dream. Right, so out of all these names, who is our best... Who are the best odds to win the Rumble? Well, I think that's quite obvious. You got Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, Bailey, and Alexa Bliss. As much as it pains me to say it, she's one of the main favorites to win here. For some reason, people are saying there's talk that Ronda Rousey could come back in the Royal Rumble match. I do not want to see that woman's face ever again. You know what? I'll be generous here. I will only welcome Ronda Rousey back. And here's the thing. You can't just bring Ronda back in the Rumble. you got to have something planned for her. You can't just say, right, we'll put you in the Rumble. If you're going to bring Ronda Rousey back, let's say WWE is bringing her back. Just, just so that I can be genuine. So that I can be genuine and, be, and give you guys my honest opinion. If you're going to bring Ronda Rousey back, the only person that she should be in a program with is Shayna Baszler. Easy. That is the only reason to bring Ronda back. You can't bring her back to win the Rumble and then go on and face the champion. That is something that, that, that is unacceptable. You don't just bring her back to have her compete for a title where it's none of her business. The SmackDown title, the Raw title, the NXT title, that's none of her business. That's why I don't see any reason to bring her back in the Rumble. You know if Ronda's being in this match, she's winning. The only person in this match could physically eliminate her is Shayna. If Ronda Rousey is to ever compete again, the only person she should be facing is Shayna. You're not just going to bring her back for no reason. That is why I don't want Ronda back. Because there's no reason to bring her back. And if you think, oh, having her win the Royal Rumble is a reason to bring her back, you're wrong. You're wrong because you're giving it to someone who doesn't deserve it. You're giving it to someone who sat on her ass for two years, had a little sook because she didn't win at WrestleMania, and then you have her come back and win a match that that she had that, that she doesn't even deserve. Bianca Belair deserves this more than Ronda. So that's number one. That's why I say you should not bring Ronda back. And that's why she shouldn't come back. Only bring her back when it makes sense to bring her back. Only bring her back when you got a program for her lined up. You don't just bring someone back because you just want to bring them back for star power. If you've got... I will only accept Ronda back if she's going to start a feud with Shayna Baszler. She's the only person that makes sense on the roster to have Ronda feud with. Other than that, I don't want her back. Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, Bailey, and Alexa Bliss are the logical people that will win. Charlotte won't win. She won't win because of Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans will most likely be in this match. And Lacey Evans, I am going to make a prediction here. I reckon Lacey Evans will eliminate Charlotte Flair from the match. Charlotte Flair will probably get distracted by somebody. Maybe she turns her attention away from Lacey Evans. She eliminates maybe Tamina. And then she turns around and gets a woman's righted right out of the ring. 
That's what I reckon will happen. Or she gets put, punched in the face on the woman's right, and then she gets tossed over. But either way, Charlotte is not winning. So you can, so you don't have to have your ants in the, you don't have to have your ants in your pants about Charlotte Flair winning the Royal Rumble. She is not winning. And I, and, I, and as a Charlotte fan, I can say that with confidence, she ain't winning. Bianca Belair and Bailey, they're the two logical names that should win. Alexa Bliss is the last person I want to see win the Royal Rumble because Alexa Bliss, she doesn't deserve it. She doesn't deserve the Royal Rumble. She's in the middle of a program with Randy Orton. Why give her the Royal Rumble? Bailey and Bianca are the two names that should win this match. Bailey can win the match so then she can face Sasha Banks at WrestleMania. Bianca Belair is the same thing. She would win to face Sasha Banks. But I think Bailey should but I think Bailey is the more you know, if Bianca's not winning, I'd definitely say Bailey. Because I think Bailey and Sasha can have their WrestleMania match. And before someone says, Oh, but what if Bailey picks the Raw Women's title if she wins the Royal Rumble? What if she picks the NXT? She's not gonna pick the Raw Women's Championship. Why would she pick Oscar? Oh yeah, I could easily get revenge on my former best friend for taking my title, but now nah, I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick Oscar. I could always get revenge on my best friend, but now nah, I'm gonna pick Io Shirai. The only person that Bailey is going to pick if she wins that match is Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks is the only person that she's going to pick if she wins the Royal Rumble. Who's to say Alexa Bliss picks Sasha Banks if she wins the Royal Rumble? That's the second reason why I don't want Alexa Bliss to win the Royal Rumble. Because who's to say she wants? Because who's to say she wants to face Sasha at WrestleMania? Because remember, the winner picks the champion of their choice. They can pick whoever they want. If Alexa wins, she could always pick Sasha. I feel like the winner of the Rumble is going to pick Sasha. Oscar is probably going to lose the title before WrestleMania. There's no way Oscar is heading to WrestleMania as the champion. But, but, if there was a dark horse, and I will say this, and before, and I'll say this, if there is a dark horse, and I will tell you guys there is a dark horse, if there is a dark horse that is going to win the Royal Rumble, that's Rhea Ripley. That's Rhea Ripley. She's the dark horse. Because I've got a feel, because there's been rumors going around that there's a few names getting ready to be called up. Damien Priest is one of them. Rhea Ripley is the other. I've been hearing stories about Rhea and Damian Priest both being called up to the main roster. Now, I don't know what brands they'll land on. Maybe Damian Priest will end up on SmackDown. Rhea Ripley will end up on Raw. So you know what? If it's not Charlotte, if it's not Bianca, if it's not Bailey, and God, I hope it's not Alexa Bliss, the other person I'd have win the Royal Rumble is Rhea Ripley. I'd have Rhea Ripley win the, ma win the Rumble... She can take her time and not pick who she's going to face. And then when Charlotte wins the Raw Women's title from Oscar, which you all know is going to happen at some point, that's when you have Rhea pick Charlotte. That's when Rhea says, right, I'm picking you. You took something from me last year that was important to me last year, so I'm going to get revenge and I'm going to take something that you love from you. And then Rhea goes on to beat Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania 37 to seek revenge from what happened last year so that everybody can eat can to shut the hell up about Charlotte ruining Rhea's career. If Rhea gets revenge from on Charlotte, if she wins the Rumble, gets revenge on Charlotte, then I don't want to hear anyone say that Charlotte ruins careers. But it will always happen because... Oh, Charlotte, if Charlotte beats somebody, their career is done. Whatever. But yeah, Rhea is a dark horse. So that's really all I gotta say there. Rhea is really a dark horse. So, I feel like the person... But... I... I really think Raw needs someone like Rhea Ripley on their roster. Because, God, 
Freaking Raw's roster is so goddamn bad. Raw's women's roster is so bad. They really need someone like Rhea Ripley. They really, really do. So Rhea Ripley's a dark horse. So, so we can always keep Rhea Ripley in mind. So yeah. Anyway, whew, this was a long, long predictions video. So, so yeah. So who's my final pick to win the Royal Rumble? Who's my final pick? Is it going to be Bailey? Is it going to be Bianca? Or is it going to be Rhea? Who's my final choice? I'm just going to play it safe. And I'm going to say Bailey. I'm going to play it safe and pick Bailey. Because I don't trust WWE to be creative enough to give the Rumble to Rhea Ripley. I could just play it safe and say, oh, well, Alexa Bliss wins, but, you know, I don't want to have her win it, period. Because I know she'll want to get her revenge on that little boss. She'll want to she'll want to get her hands on Sasha Banks. I would rather Bailey versus Sasha Banks than Alexa Bliss. Anyway, that is all I got for you guys for this prediction. Holy shit, this is a long video. This is going to be a long video, guys. 41 minutes. Jesus, this is going to be a long video. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me for this long, long predictions video. Hope you guys sit through it all, and uh, I will see you all next time.